Hello, SpongeGex here, and um, I normally don't do videos like this, but I just wanted to post this and hope like maybe some people would respond. Like, is this happening to anyone else? But so over the years, um, when it comes to video editing software, one that I like to use was um, CyberLink Power Director, and it's one that I liked at first, but over the years I really slowly grew to hate it, especially now and. So I'm not sure like what the oldest version I had. I probably had it far back to like when it was called uh, CyberLink Power Director 12. And over the years, there's been like over 20 of them now. And um, it used to be like where you just bought a license key, usually about like 60 and $90. Um, and so I've gone through many versions of it in the past because uh, there were certain times where like they worked at first, but then eventually they started um, getting slower, more unresponsive. They started randomly crashing and... I figured maybe it was just because the product was outdated because, to be fair, we have, like, newer Windows that kept coming out, uh, newer versions of Windows, and so um, I figured maybe it was just a compatibility issue, and so I, I get, like, a newer version. Um, so I probably bought, like, the product, like, a, a total of four times altogether, and um, however, um, late last year when, once again, CyberLink Power Director was acting more unresponsive, I bought it one last time, and, but to my surprise, um, it was a completely, they rehauled the entire product. It's no longer, um, it's no longer like where you buy it as a licensed serial key. Now you have to buy it um, as a subscription, a yearly subscription. And I, I remember it was kind of pricey. It was somewhere between 60 and $90 a year. And so it's like, yeah, that's quite bizarre. It's like back then you could just buy it once and keep it forever. Now they expect you, like, they got rid of all the previous versions. So that was the main reason I tried, um, that was the main reason I bought this new version. I was trying to re-download a previous version because I accidentally lost the original download for it. But because it was gone, I, um, I couldn't get a recovery link for it. So I had no choice but to buy this new version of it. And... So, uh, 365, um, overall, it's supposed to be an improvement of the previous builds. Honestly, I did not see a big difference. The only um, welcoming addition I saw was it now had an audio scrubber. So, that means, like, uh, when you move the timeline, um, when going through, like, video, you'll actually hear, like, the video um, audio, like, playing as you uh, speed along with the, or uh, slowly move along with it. And so, that's always a useful feature, especially when you're trying to, um, like trim a video, but you don't want to trim out like too much of the audio. You want to like you want a good starting point, a good ending point, and it didn't help when back then you couldn't do that. And so sometimes like you try playing a clip over and over, but the computer decides to run slow and act out of sync, and that can always be a problem. And so yeah, it was great how it had audio scrubbing now. But so anyways, um, so for a while it was working fine, except for um, occasionally it had some compatibility issues when working with what are known as MKV videos. Um, like sometimes like when I record certain footage off like a capture device, it uh, saves it as an MKV file. And so there, uh, every time I worked with an MKV file, eventually it'd have like an issue where it would um, like uh, say a uh, power director um, suddenly stopped, and, you know, like one of those stupid errors. And so then it closes out and you're forced to reload and try again. I hope it doesn't crash this time. And so the strangest thing happened where recently I had to reinstall a bunch of files on my computer because um, I updated the BIOS on my graphic card because uh, apparently um, when I got my computer um, uh, upgraded a few months ago. They didn't bother updating the bio, so I had to do that myself because my computer was suddenly running slow. And so that, that fixed everything, but ever since I uh, updated the BIOS and all of that, I can't even run CyberLink PowerDirector 365 anymore. Every time I do, um, it's like I was able to install it, and it, it worked fine, but then once I logged in to prove that I had, you know, a purchase subscription for it, um, it says, thank you, um, uh, next time you restart the program, we'll install some updates for you. I did that, and all of a sudden, like, while it's updating, it just silently crashes. There's, like, no error message, and it causes the thumbnail of the app to become blank, as if, like, it it was uninstalling it. And so um, I, I've tried reinstalling the program so many times trying to get this solved, and I can't. And CyberLink Power Director, um, their troubleshooting was no help at all. And so it just made me come to the realization that, Despite all the good reviews CyberLink gets, I don't think they're as good of a company as they're um, reviewed as. Um, they, they're starting to come off as pretty shady, honestly. Um, I mean, it just happens to be a coincidence that um, 
uh, every time, like, um, it always feels like a year or later after, like, I have the software, it starts acting up and it keeps getting gradually worse and worse. And so you buy the new software, it works for a little bit, but then it gets worse. And it, I can't prove it, but it almost gives me the impression that um, Cyberlink, like, um, sabotages their software. And then they, they got even stingier by forcing you to have to buy it, um, not even buy it, you can't even own it anymore. You have to pay for a subscription just to use it nowadays. And so uh, it's such a shame. I used to like Cyberlink Power Director. Um, I used to think it was a pretty decent um, video editing software, but I guess now I'm going to have to go back to Adobe Premiere Elements. Um, like uh, Adobe Premiere Elements, I would say, is a, is a better editing software. It does run kind of slower, though, and it cannot run MKV files, so you have no choice but to either try to convert them or... Um, try to somehow like re-record the video footage you have and save it into a different format like mp4 or something and so um, yeah that's really annoying and uh, I tried looking it up and it, it seems like a lot of there are a lot of ways to convert from um, like mkv to another format but it's um, either too expensive or it doesn't look very reliable it looks like a lot of them are on very shady websites so um, I'm not even going to bother, you know, I've, I've learned my lesson. I remember in high school, I used to like download everything and I learned like, no, don't do that. <laughs> and so, um, there's a number of reasons for why you shouldn't do that, either legal issues or, um, because yeah, they can be leaked with viruses. And so I, I play it much more safer now. And so, yeah, I don't know. I just, I just wanted to know, does anyone else have this problem? Cause I, I find it hard to believe that, um, there are so many people online who, um, are just praising Cyberlink Power Director. It's like got like perfect five out of five star reviews, and I don't see anyone talking bad about like the experiences they had. Um, there are a few like similar um, errors I see. Like some people mention how um, oh they get like the error that crashes the software. That that was like what I had when running MKV files. And so otherwise, I don't see anyone um, sharing the same issue I had where. Um, Otherwise, uh, the, the closest thing I saw is that someone said after the February uh, 2023 update or something like that, um, the software is tr having trouble running. And I guess that's exactly what happened with me because, like I said, I had to reinstall it and it happened to be in the middle of February and suddenly the software isn't working anymore. So I don't know. But yeah, I, I, I'm like, I, I don't want to try to be like anti-consumerism with this video or anything, you know, but... So when no one's like daring to speak out about this, you have no choice but to make a whole video about it. So yeah, I just want to say that Cyberlink lost a customer. Um, I, I've stuck with them for years, but this is where I drew the line. And I'm not getting a refund back. I, I tried, you know, reporting my issue to them and they just have the typical robotic um, troubleshooting responses and none of them are going to work. Um, so not like, I don't know, this is just depressing. Um, and so it's just this software that's having the problem. Like I said, my computer was having troubles, but it wasn't. But um, for all I know, maybe it wasn't having troubles. Maybe it was just that software trouble or something. I don't know. But all the other programs I have are working just fine. Um, I can run Adobe Premiere Elements just fine, Photoshop, Clip Studio Paint. But when it comes to PowerDirector, that's the one that um, I can't even launch anymore. So I, I just don't know. Um, anyways, that's really all I have to say for now. Thank you for watching. See you next time. Have a great day.